We have a big hand, uh, and welcome to the stage, Brian Crone, the founder of Chicago Tiny House. It's bright here. All right, just a, a couple of... Ed, is there anybody can turn this down? There we go. Beautiful, thank you. Okay, uh, just a couple of house, house cleaning topics here. Uh, all the bathrooms are on my right, your left, I believe, right? Yeah? Okay. So, only the bathrooms on this side will be able, able to be accessed throughout the night. The center doorway, we need to keep closed because that's the coffee house, which is now closed. If you need coffee, we have it in the back. All the fixings, we have a bunch of food there. Please help yourselves eat to you gorge. Uh, also, on a special note, we have a huge silent auction this year. Uh, we have a lot of art that's been donated to our organization by numerous artists, including our very own Terry Wheeler, if you can give him a hand. And then we also have donated art from Joe Andrews as well. So let's give him a hand. And the rest of the art was consigned to us by an art gallery. Uh, so feel free, be really welcome to take your time. We're going to have a lot of information going over tonight. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me or any of my staff members. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to go over that. Now I have a little uh, presentation I'm going to go over, and it's basically about what we've done and what we're about to do with tiny houses. Okay, I guess it would help to start the slideshow. Right? Okay, I guess we're not going to get it up there. Uh, so, anyways, who are we? Uh, we are Chicago Tiny House. Uh, and and who, what is the Chicago Tiny House? Chicago Tiny House is a grassroots organization. We started last November, uh, officially, as an organization. But before that, we were basically, a bunch of us were advocates for the bridge down at uh, Wilson and Lawrence. What did we do there? We basically fed people, we housed, not housed them, we clothed them. Uh, a couple of my friends actually provided all the tents that they slept in. And then the city unfortunately came by and closed it down. So we wanted to do something legally that the city couldn't shut us down for. So we created Chicago Tiny House. And what are we going to do with this? So, uh, my next uh, topic is, you know, what, who compiles Chicago Tiny House? Uh, at the moment, I am the president and founder of Chicago Tiny House, and I have a huge team that, I mean, we have over 350 volunteers that signed up through Facebook, through Meetup, and all sorts of different organizations. We have our beautiful Sarah Wen, where she she's around here somewhere, and she is where did she go? Oh, there she is! Why don't you stand up? Everybody give Sarah a great round of applause. Sarah is our executive secretary, and we also have Priscilla Demeclia, who is our treasurer. Unfortunately, she's not able to be here today. But uh, I do welcome her. She has a lot of experience in accounting, and she helps me with the books. Uh, our mission is basically trying to help people one tiny house at a time. 
And what, what are we trying to do? We're trying to build communities where homeless people can not only get housed, but the care they need to survive in the world. So we, we're coming up with a process of living, not just, you know, get them into housing and forget about it. We have a total wraparound services that we were able to obtain through third parties, uh, case management, and also advocates that help them for jobs and career placement, which is awesome. Uh, there's, you know, a lot of people question us why we do what we do. One of the key issues is that the coalition stated that uh, there's over 64,000 homeless residents right now on the streets of Chicago. Of that number, I'm sorry, little technical difficulties here. Basically, it's about 6,300 people who are residents in Chicago that are homeless veterans right now on the streets. So that's why we do what we do. Uh, we want to get these people back into housing and the care they need to survive in the world, in their own house. So veterans, did you know that veterans are over 50% more likely to become homeless than any other person around? Why is this? Because they have a higher stress factor. When they get out from the service, most of them are coming home with PTSD uh, and a lot of substance abuse problems and everything else and everybody just disregards them as basically trash on the street. Well, you know, I'm a veteran and I take that personal. So the, our first project is going to be reaching out for homeless veterans. And the research states that the greatest root, research shows that the greatest root factor for homelessness is the lack of support and social isolation after this church. So many, what the VA is doing right now is they're getting them into their own apartment, but then they don't do anything else. I commend them for, for getting these people housed. But if you leave somebody in the house, there we go, all right, thank you, Scott. If you leave somebody in the house alone without any other care, they're gonna go back to the drinking, the drugging, the whatever, you know, problems that they have. If they don't have the wraparound services needed to survive, they're gonna fail. So that's where we're coming in. Now our mission plan again is to bring tiny houses in, com in the combination with community as well as case management as is stated, as well as uh, to any future resident of Chicago. Uh, they need the essentials for rebuilding homelessness and residents for veterans' futures. Uh, now what are our goals as a company? We have three main goals. Our first goal is to build a prototype and successfully run our pilot program through the city of Chicago. Our first program is dedicated to homeless veterans. We're going to be building three houses as well as an outreach center on the land that we were provided by Alderman Moreno. And everything that I spoke about with the wraparound services is going to happen through that outreach center. So they're not alone. Someone will be there 24 hours a day to care for them and to get them what they need, which is awesome. Uh, we've partnered with all kinds of companies right now. Uh, we even have people ready to furnish our entire tiny houses. Uh, microwaves, ovens, beds, everything. So that's, it's awesome. Uh, right now, our hardest part is financing this. It's going to cost us about $250,000 for the entire pilot. Uh, now, I'm personally going to, I have funds invested for this project that I'm going to use, but I still need to raise a lot of money. And that's what the purpose of these functions are. And all we're doing is raising money, putting it in a pool, putting it in the bank, and using it for financing. Okay, uh, the number one issue that we're running into right now is zoning. Uh, the city of Chicago has the worst zoning laws in America. 
I have a friend that's supporting a tiny house community in Hazelcrest that already got permits granted for the first community in Hazelcrest. Uh, right now, the mayor has called for an RFI. We submitted our proposal twice. Uh, at no cost to the city did our proposal, it won't cost the city a penny, but they're still in review. And that's what we're waiting on right now. Uh, we can't go forward until we get permission from zoning. And we're doing everything we can to get the zoning pushed through. Again, what are we bringing to the table? Community, growth, stability, community outreach, home ownership programs, and pride. I think pride is the, the most important aspect of our purpose. We want to instill people to know that they're still people. Uh, most homeless people don't feel like people anymore because they lose their self-respect. Uh, they have nowhere to go. Everywhere they go, they're looked down on. Well, I don't want to be by him, or I don't want to be by her. And, you know, this is the attitude they get. So that's where I'm coming in, and we're going to provide that respect again. Getting them housed, getting them what they need, they're going to start feeling better for themselves and reach their own goals. Uh, and that's about all that I have for you today. If you have any questions, please feel free to call me. I have cards at the table here. I have t-shirts there, my t-shirt. Uh, any questions that you want to be answered, I'm here for you. So please stop me, ask me questions. Uh, I'm, I'm always here for you, and I'm going to pass it on to the next group. <laughs> All right. Uh, we talk about our meetings. Oh, yeah. Two, every week we have a, a meeting on Thursday at 7 o'clock, right across the street at 8.45. 920 West Wilson. I forgot my own address. So 920 West Wilson in the garden room. Please feel free to come anytime. Don't feel obligated, but it's there for a reason. We put it out there because we want to get you guys involved and to come in and give us your opinions. Who knows, you might have something that we might need. So feel free to come by. Make sure you guys eat. I got a lot of food there. Please eat it. <laughs> and have fun for the rest of the night. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Hey. So, uh, we're going to have our first musical. I'm sorry, I totally forgot. The drawings on your tables, there's two papers on each table. Those are the actual tiny houses that we're ready to build. So each tiny house is about 303 square feet. And again, there'll be three tiny houses, one outreach center, with a laundry facility, as well as a garden and a parking space. So, sorry about that. All right. Cool. So uh, we're going to have our first musical group up, our first musical act up in just a couple minutes. So um, remember, we've got uh, t-shirts. We've got art to uh, look at in the room that's um, available for silent auction. Uh, the silent auction sheets are kind of in the hallway on the outside, so if there's something you're interested in placing a bid on, uh, that'd be great. All right, so in just a couple minutes, we're going to have our first musical group. Uh, we're going to bring up Ryan Wentz, so we'll talk. <laughs> 